Good afternoon guys, happy Sunday and I'm um, here. Yeah, I've been away, far away, no I haven't been far away, but I have obviously spent the last week at my new job. I was able to make it through the week and I'm very, yes I must apologise, I did say that I was going to do a couple of catch ups or reviews or something within the week. I didn't get around to doing so, so um oops yeah um I, i'll explain as i talk through this video anyway but um yeah for those of you that aren't aware i started my new job at armstrong bell on monday i am a telemarketer there and the through the first week has been mainly me doing data cleansing uh it does look like i'm going to be starting to make appointments next week uh, on Monday, actually, I, I, I got there, I think it was about quarter to ten to nine. And um, before I even got there, I had a, a bit of a boost, a bit of a kick up the bum to her say, yeah, you can do this, Sam, you can do this. Because I got to the top of the road where Armstrong is, and my old MD, James, went past me in his car, and he gave me a quick wave hello and all that. So I was like, ooh. So, um, yeah, I am... Um, got there obviously had to wait for Sarah to turn up she doesn't usually get into about 20 to 10 so obviously she's left some paperwork and stuff on my desk for me to have a look at so I had a quick read through this stuff while I was waiting for it to come and then when she arrived we then went straight into a sales meeting apparently we have these sales meetings every Monday morning so this is going to become like a, a regular thing it's just basically for everyone on the sales team to discuss what they've been up to what appointments they've made this that the other so far i say i'm a telemarketer i am but i'm not i'm still working on a sales team so yeah okay so monday was just basically an intro day you know getting the hang of things and this that the other i, I didn't actually get on the phone that day so yeah all was good then tuesday um i can't remember about tuesday um the morning mainly was spent with sarah in the boardroom showing me and talking to me about obviously the the, the telephone systems we sell and certain jargon words that are used and this that the other i'm not like i said so obviously as time goes by i literally will do the same as what i did at image i will pick it up as i go along you know, you can't expect me to know everything straight away. It's just not going to happen. But obviously, over time, you start picking up on things and you learn that way. So by the afternoon, she was happy enough for me to start getting on the phones, which I did so. I uh, made a few calls, nothing spectacular, just basically, uh, you know, calling people, asking them who deals with the telephone systems, what telephone system do they use? You know how many extensions simple little things like that and then obviously at some point because what i'm doing at the moment i'm building myself a pipeline so everybody i've been contacting will now be my contact my lead so in the future i'm going to call them back and try and generate an appointment for one of our specialists to go out and meet with them and if a sale goes through and think like that uh, i will gain commission from that which is brilliant because uh one of the ladies that i work with on the sales team sally gosh she's been there like forever she's really really good at what she does so i'm, I'm, I'm i've been listening to her i'm hoping to pick up a few things from us and and just gain a lot of experience from myself but um on top of the wages as what she's earned this month She's also earned an extra £450 on top of that through commission. And I'm just thinking, I need this in my life. I just do. Now, obviously, because I've got experience in telemarketing, I've, I've done telemarketing a lot in the past. And it was my main role when I was at Image Info. It, a lot of it did turn into sales and I did work that side more than anything really. But... I've, I've got a background in telemarketing, so I know what I'm doing. So when I was given my data to cleanse to go through, I don't think they expected me to get through it as quickly as I did, and I did. 
So by Wednesday afternoon, I'd done all my calls, all the people that they'd given me to call, I'd got through. So then they had to like find more for me. And then I was, I got through them again by Thursday afternoon. Uh, so then they had to find me more. <laughs> so I've got another 280, I think, to kick off with next week, which will help me out a great deal. But yeah, I'm, I'm obviously already showing to them that I'm very, very capable of doing this. I had my review meeting with Sarah on Friday morning. She's happy with what I've achieved so far. We use like an online system called um, Salesforce and this is where all the uh, data is kept and at the same time you got like little charts and stuff that shows you you know what kind of calls it was that you made to start you so you can keep track of what it is that you've been doing and if anything needs to be followed up on and, and stuff like that basically so um yeah she's happy with what i've achieved so far my my main question to us was how do you think I've got on this week already? And she, you know, she she was happy. You know, I haven't done anything wrong, which I was kind of like relieved about. And yeah, so far all appears to be going well at my new job. I also met with their HR lady on Friday after my review with Sarah, nice lady called Jan. So basically, they they use an external company, and if I have any grievances or gripes or anything like that then she's the lady for me to contact so i can go and talk to her and get advice and whatever so that's nice i think so because we never had that image we didn't actually have anyone that dealt in hr so if anybody did piss you off or anything like that there wasn't actually one anyone in such that you could go to there was one time when when my my ex-boss paul bless him he, he, he did piss me off quite badly and it was the only one time in the two years i worked for him that he, he had actually got to me and upset me quite a lot and, and as much as i adore the bloke all i ever used to hear from everyone else was how much they didn't like him how much they he used to piss them off and i was like you know i, I don't understand why because i think he's a lovely bloke he's, he's never annoyed me or upset me or made me angry or anything like that apart from that one time and I went and spoke to what was then the operations manager, who's now the operations director. Um, and it went straight to Paul and told him what I'd said. That you're not meant to do in HR. So obviously because Paul was aware of what I'd said to this other person, I'm not going to mention any names. But um, I think it upset Paul. It upset me. So obviously he apologised and we had a good heart to heart and, you know, we sorted it out, which was nice, and it did show in the end that, you know, we weren't just colleagues, he wasn't just my boss, he was, as we always used to say, my friend, and we are still friends, it's his birthday today as well, so, um, I've already texted him to wish him a happy birthday, but obviously because I don't see him anymore, there are times when I actually do miss the lanky Yorkshire bastard. So if you might have noticed that I actually do have genuine feelings for Paul. I do. I do. I care about him a great lot. Um, he's a bit like me. He has trust issues. And it takes a lot for him to let people in. And to tell them things about himself. And he's told me things about his childhood. And um, just certain things that I'm not going to talk about. Because obviously he trusts me enough to tell me these things in faith that I wouldn't discuss them with anyone else who I won't but at the same time he knew that I had trust issues and I struggled to let people in and um, I think yeah I think it's because we had that in common that we had the relationship that we did and I hope we always stay friends I do anyway enough about him let's talk about me so yeah, uh, yeah, my week's going really well. Oh my goodness, first day. Oh dear me. And um, I had the I had the proofs come through on Friday, and I have to admit they they, they made me cry. I tell you why. Um, I had to have my photo taken for Armstrong's um, website, and they used a professional photographer called Julie, and I went along to a studio to have these photos done. I don't know if it's because I have put on a lot of chub. I'm not going to deny that. But when I got the proofs come through, I all I saw was a, an extremely fat 
old lady staring back at me. I mean, I'm looking like dog shit today because I have got no makeup on this mug whatsoever. And my hair is scraped back because it needs to be washed tonight. And I looked awful. Absolutely freaking terrible. Uh, one of the girls that I work with, uh, she's like admin kind of side of things. Vicky, very pretty young lady. She kept telling me, no, your photos are lovely. And I was like, I don't think they are. I even tried to get her to let me have a black and white one to put onto the website, but she weren't having none of it. So um, they went for a colour one instead. At some point, my photo will be going on the website, I think next week. And uh, once it's up there, then I can show you it, guys. But honestly, it, I, 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 I nearly cried. I was like, what the hell? That doesn't, well, yeah, it's me, but why do I look so freaking old, and why do I look incredibly fat? I know, I'm, I'm, and at the moment, I'm, I'm on a diet because I am desperate to lose some of the chub that I've put on. I mean, I've put on over two stone, and I'm really, really proud of myself because last week, well, the week just gone, I actually weighed myself on Wednesday to see if I actually had lost on any weight because I've been trying to stick to 1,200 calories a day or just under, and I had lost five pounds, which I was very proud of. Very proud indeed. But I'm normally between nine stone twelve and ten stone seven. That's the kind of weight range I vary through. And yes, I have to remember I am in my forties and I am going through the menopause. But what the hell has happened to me? I I, I am just gonna have to like Proper get into my walking again. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I have been having to walk them um, a couple of times. I did get a lift back, but most majority of the time, I am walking to work and walking back, and it's a little bit further in mileage as it was to image. At image, it was about two point one miles um, in distance from my house to the company. With Armstrong, it's 2.8 miles. So I've worked it out. I'm walking, if I do walk to and from, 5.6 miles a day. So I'm hoping, you know, if I keep on walking, eventually I'm going to work this job off me. But I'm kind of disappointed in myself. For me to sit there and to look at myself and go, whoa, whoa, I just, I need to do something about it, guys. I really, really do. So, yeah, um, that was the only downside of my new job we're starting there shall I say I, I need to lose my chub guys I, I really do I really really do I it's it's frustrating it really is I mean I haven't always been a slim gym as it is I always have had issues with my weight I kind of like have fluctuated over the years you know I think the smallest I have ever been was a size 8 but when I was a size 8 I looked like I was anorexic I'd like my collarbones here jutting out you know these ones here uh, as you can see you can't actually see them normally um so for them to look like that half the time when i was a size eight it just i didn't look healthy let's just say that much in my opinion at the moment i'm 11 stone i think it was 11 stone 11 mm, yeah i hate having to admit how much i friggin my i mean what you guys have to remember is I'm only 4 foot 11, so that is really overweight for my height. Hopefully, over the next couple of months, I will start to lose weight via walking to work and back. I mean, like, the one good thing about, because the fact that, you know, I, I only get like a half an hour lunch break, I can, I can take a break, I can have one in the morning and one in the afternoon if I want to pop outside with a quick vape which I have been doing, I've been going out for about 5-10 minutes, but because of where Armstrong is, it's literally out in the sticks, as you guys would have seen for yourselves when you came with me, when I went for my job interview and I took you guys along with me, there's not a lot out there for me to go and have a look at or go to, and you kind of like got half an hour as it is at lunchtime, so you can't really do much as it is other than have your lunch quickly and then I go outside for 10 minutes and I get some fresh air and I have a vape. Maybe I might start going for a little walk, you know, I can just have a quick walk up to the top of the road because the canal's up there and maybe, you know, because it's only a few minutes walk 
you know. And I'm, I just I need to find something to do. Because I'm literally sat on my bum all day. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm accumulating so much weight. Especially on the behind. The backside is getting big. Really big. The joys of working in an office. That was fun. Um, so yeah. Um, that's my week. It's been alright. It's um, definitely different to working at Image. I can quite honestly say that. Because it's such... A small team, I think, in total. I mean, we've got Sally, myself, Sarah. And Sarah's only, like, there for about five hours a day. I think she gets in at 9.40 and she leaves at 2.40 because she has to do a school run. Um, there's a lady called Kathy as well works on the sales team with me and Sally, which she mainly works from home. Then you've got Imogen and Vicky are, like, the admin girls. And then we've got Helena who people seem to call Nelly, who deals with the accounts. And she comes in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and normally finishes early as well because she has to do a score run. Then you've got Leon, who I already knew before because he used to come to Image and look after our phones and stuff if they went down. Uh, there's a new guy that's replaced my lovely Jamie. And his name's Chris. There used to be another engineer called Jamie and he was fit. As fuck he was. And I was kind of like, I kept, for the first couple of days, I kept looking at this Chris and thinking, what the hell's happened to Jamie? He didn't look, he didn't, he didn't look like that the last time I seen him. Something happened to him. He looked so different. And it was about Wednesday when I, I kind of like clocked and I was like, dang Jamie, that's somebody completely different. And it wasn't until Friday that we actually got introduced to each other. So, yeah. Um, yeah, his name's Chris. Then you've got Will, who's the big boss, the owner. Apparently he used to be a band in the 90s, which were very big in the States. I've been doing some digging to try and find out what this band was, but I haven't found anything as such yet. Uh, then we've got a bloke called James, who's been off sick, so I haven't met him yet. And there's another bloke called David, who's one of the sales reps that goes out and I've only met him once on Monday very briefly so I can't really comment on him everyone says he's really nice but I don't know you know when you just get mm, feeling about somebody but it's early days then there's Sam who deals with mobiles he seems really nice and friendly I can see me and him getting on really quite well and then there's Rob who's the ops director and he's a really really nice bloke I can actually see me and him getting on quite well as well. Oh, and there's another sales rep called Angela, but she's very rarely in the office. And other than that, that's it. So as you can see, a very small team indeed. And I finally, finally got used to the fact that there's no background noise in the... It's just... Shh, it's just quiet. Really quiet. Which is nice, because when you're trying to make calls and you don't really want a lot of rackets in the background it does, does come in useful just having a quick cup of coffee i'm, I'm terrible i'm back in co I'm, I'm i'm been drinking coffee quite a lot lately to be honest i know i know as long as i don't get the heart palpitations i am never going to go back to drinking a shed load that i did before i think you know a, a few in the day just to keep you going is is, is more than enough but um Anyway, as I was saying about the background noise, there are times when you're on the phone that you just want things to be quiet. And when I was at Image, that very rarely happened. So I'd be trying to talk to someone on the phone and I'd either be like a kettle boiling in the background or somebody talking in the background. And it just used to make things really, really awkward because you'd be struggling to hear what the other person's saying. And not just that, the person that you're talking to can hear what's going on in the background. And that can be very unappealing, let's just say that much. So yeah, I think I'm finally getting used to the silence. Still early days, so I've still obviously got to get used to being there. I mean, I won't say I've made any major friends yet, because obviously I've still got to get to know people, but I can see myself fitting in there and, and eventually getting to know people quite well. And I guess over time, because I think, because I was so used to working at Image for such a long time, I've just got to get myself accustomed to working somewhere. 
everything in there now. But um, yeah, like that that is my first week at my new job done. Um, as I said, I would catch up with you guys and let you know how it went. And one is back tomorrow morning, so I shall be in bed by 10 or 10.30. I'm, I've am i got to wash my hair as well before I go to bed. It's so itchy and dry. I think it's the cold air in the mornings because it's been so cold. So, so cold. Like proper cold, guys. Oh, and oh my God, I am such an idiot for doing this to myself. Well, I don't even know why I did it. I just don't. But I thought, right. I'm 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 not gonna wear heel boots or heels yet because my feet are not gonna be able to handle walking that many miles in heels yet. They just my feet won't handle it. So all week I've been wearing my brogues, <clears throat> apart from Thursday when I thought, oh let's see if I can actually do this, and I ended up with the most biggest, nastiest bloody blister on the bottom of my left foot. Oh my goodness, it was huge. I literally ended up limping home i'd got to the bottom of shore lane so I'd just gone to the ampy road when i just got to the point where i was like, oh my god i can't walk anymore so i literally limped all the way back up that hill and all the rest of the way back home like, oh my god honestly it was such pure bliss just to get back throw my boots off my foot and just get off it i was in so much agony and then i made the stupid mistake of finding a pin and I didn't sterilise it before I used it to pop the blister with. And I ended up infecting the bottom of my foot. I am such a moron sometimes. I mean, obviously, because I used to do a lot of walking when I worked at Image. You know, there were occasions when I did get blisters. And I would pop them. But as I said, I made the stupid mistake of not sterilising the pin beforehand. So I just got this pin, stabbed the blister, let all the oozy, oozy stuff come out like you do. And um, I just thought, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So when it came to Friday to walk into work, I, I was all right. I was okay until about five minutes away from work. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, God, this is starting to hurt again. Even though I was sat on my bum for the majority of the day, I knew there was something bad going on with my foot. The bottom of my foot was literally burning. I felt like my foot was on fire. And then we finished work early on Friday. Sometimes Will will say to us, right, I'm off to the pub. I'm, I'm, if you want to go home, you can go home. And that's what he did. So I had to call my mates and ask them to come and pick me up. Because there was just no way I was going to be able to walk home. Um, when I seen my friend's mum yesterday afternoon, she told me, oh my God, you've infected the bottom of your foot. She gave me this cream that she'd got. She used to be a nurse. It was all... All good guys, it weren't just some crazy old lady going, hey, pop your stuff on the bottom of your foot. No, she actually is medically trained. So anyway, she was like, yeah, try this cream, go home, give your foot a nice soak in the bath, put this stuff on afterwards. Whatever you do someday, do not go anywhere. Keep off your foot as much as you can. Don't even wear socks, you've got to get air to your foot. And I promise you, by Monday morning, your foot won't be 100%. But it will be good enough for you to be able to walk to work on. And I have to admit, I, I can put my foot down now. I can actually put my foot down. But you can actually see where the infection was on the bottom of my foot. It's all kind of like red. And it don't look good, guys. I'd show you, but I don't want to put you off your Sunday dinner. Oh, talking about Sunday dinner. Oh, I'm looking forward to mine. Even though Jess won't be here, so I'm going to have to... I'm, I'm going to cook it. And I'll probably have it to myself and I'll probably save some for me to take from my lunch tomorrow morning. And I'll probably save some for Jess as well so she can take it to work and have for her lunch instead. Because I don't know what time she's going to be back. She's gone for gone out to the car, some car show with her mate. Well, she says it is her mate. I think there's more to it than that. I think it's a boyfriend really. She won't admit to it. She just will not admit that's a boyfriend. But I think he is. Anyway. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to my Sunday roast. That's all I'm going to say, guys. So, that's it. I, I'm done. Um, thank you for watching, if you do so. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed me waffling on like a crazy buffoon that I am. And um, if you've got anything you'd like to say, if you've got any comments, if you just want to, I don't know, tell me I'm nuts, 
Please do so by leaving your comments down below. And uh, oh my god, I really do look like dog shit today. Me, yeah. How beautiful I am. Not. Oh, yeah. So that's it, I am. I'm, I'm going to do one now, guys. Obviously, I need to edit these things and get this for you guys to watch. And then I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. And uh, that's it, guys. I will try and pop back at some point in the week, whether it's to do a bit of a catch up or one of my many reviews that I was meant to have done last week. I don't know yet, but I will come back at some point. Anyway, and next weekend I will be doing my usual monthly favourites. So I will be doing my January favourites. So you guys will get to hear what I enjoyed for this month. I remember we're still in January at the moment. Uh, and that's it, guys. You take care. I'll see you all soon. Until then, Mwah. bye.